Um, when you were at Ohio State, you had someone ask you a question. Um, I think they asked you, were, are you Catholic? And mm-hmm. you, you explained that, no, you're Protestant. And mm-hmm. then you, you made a comment about how we have more likenesses than we have differences. And I would totally agree. Mm-hmm. But then you, you said something um, along the lines talking about, I think you used the word salvation, but talking mm-hmm. about the doctrine of justification mm-hmm. and how you wouldn't part on that issue and you called it a secondary issue. And I, I only, the only reason I bring it up is I, I push back on that thinking it's, it's a number one issue, but you know, my in-laws are Catholic and I love mm-hmm. them um, deeply. Mm-hmm. Um, so where do you draw the line with, with how you separate that out and, and, and how you don't? I, I, well, I struggle with how to approach you're, that. You're going back to the Reformation. Look, I was brought up in the Catholic Church and went to Catholic high school. Uh, I went through the whole thing, but at the end of it, I didn't even know who Jesus was. I didn't, I didn't have a good, now maybe that was my fault. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to high school, you know, what do I know? Um, it wasn't until I was in the Navy and I met the son of a Methodist minister and he took me to a Baptist church and I started to learn doctrine, it seemed better from a 40 minute sermon than a seven minute homily, right? And then I had so many questions for him. He said, you know, you just need to get Josh McDowell books. Evidence demands a verdict and more than a carpenter. So I became, to a, I became a Christian through apologetics. Now, when it comes to the, the, the situation with Roman Catholics and Protestants, since I'm a Protestant, a lot of times I get questions from Protestants that say to me, do you think Catholics can be saved? And I usually say, I even think some Baptists can be saved. Okay, because it's not where you go to church that determines whether or not your sins are forgiven. It's whether you've accepted the free gift of salvation. Now, technically, there's a dispute, obviously, between the Protestants and the Catholics over the difference between what's known as justification and sanctification. Protestants believe that justification is a one-time only event where you accept Christ and your sins are forgiven. After that, sanctification takes place, whereby you're progressively, hopefully, becoming more like Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Catholics tend to put those two things together. They say that justification and sanctification go together and there's no distinction there. Now, they would admit that was the thief on the cross saved? Yeah. Did he do any good works? No. But they're saying that if you're going to be a true Christian, you're going to do good works. And I agree with that. I just don't think the good works are salvific. I think that you're saved by faith alone, but your faith is not alone that you are going to do good. And Paul says this in the most famous probably verse on this in the New Testament in, in, in Ephesians chapter 2. He says, he says that you're saved by faith, not of works, so that no man should boast. It's grace through faith. And then the next very next verse talks about, but you're created in Christ to do good works. So it's a dispute over how we unpack salvation. Are we just talking about justification or are we talking about justification and sanctification together? Now, can I have fellowship with a Catholic that believes that they're saved by grace? Of course I can. If they're going to say, I've got to do good works in order to be saved, I'm going to have an argument with them, a friendly argument, but I'm going to say, look, Catholics agree that you can't be saved without Jesus. They agree with that, right? That's the most important thing. You've got to have Jesus in order to be saved. But I'm going to have a conversation and say, look, the scriptures seem to indicate that, no, you don't need works to be saved. But if you are saved, you will do good works.